ourselves were seeing a slight problem with in-house Atreides. All, all Atreides. The spice extends life. The spice expands consciousness. The planet is Arrakis, also known as Dune. I will have Arrakis back for myself! He who controls the spice controls the universe! Oh, the slow blade penetrates the shield. Run! first step in avoiding a trap is knowing of its existence. And he'll know, he'll know that it is I, and Vladimir Hartman, who encompasses his doom. <laughs> Tell me of your home world, Uso. You are transparent. I see plans within plans. One will come, the voice from the outer world, bringing the holy war, the Shihad, which will cleanse the universe. My lord, I suspect an incredible secret has been kept on this planet, that the Fremen exist in vast numbers. Vast. And it is they who control Arakis. I'll miss the sea. So let's just move all this stuff. I have to go through and make sure I didn't leave any out. Pretty sure I didn't. I was pretty careful. So let's have a look at Rex, okay? Which is sort of, you know, the fantasy flight version of Dune. Now, this is a chip from Dune, uh, Rex. This is a chip from Rex, and I'll zoom in. These two chips are from Dragon's Gold, and this chip is from Andy and Abyss. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna measure these and see how big they are. So the Andy and Abyss one is about 15 milliliter, uh, mill, millimeters, which is what, 1 and 0.2, what do you say, 1 and a quarter, 1 and a half, whatever, 1 and 0.2 inches, uh, 3 quarters of an inch, whatever, that's 1 here, I can't even read inches, fuck inches, oh, I shouldn't swear, I'm excited, okay, so it's like 15 milliliter, millimeters, Okay, around, and it's about 10 high. Okay, so that's 15 by 10. This one, which is a universal size, you can see it kind of matches, is also 15, but it is uh, I guess about uh, 0.5, maybe 0.9 or something. So that might be, I don't know, six, say six millimeters, whatever, we don't have to be exact. Now, this one is a big chit. This represents the Sardaukar, or the tanks in Rex, but it's the Sardaukar troops in Dune. And if we measure this, this is 40 millimeters across. It's almost four centimeters, so that's like one and a half inches, practically. So if that was round, this would be a huge pug. Awesome. Now this one, which is a nice size to hold, is about, say, 30. Okay. Uh, yeah, so they're about 30. And that means, and it's about, I don't know how thick, say, three millimeters or something. Okay, so this is the kind of sizes we're looking at. Now the reason why I'm showing you these is because we're now going to create the pugs, just as we created 
the cards. But the problem is getting exact size shapes, the shapes we want, what we would preferably want is about 30 millimeters for troops and say 40 to 45 for heroes. That's kind of what we would like. Okay, now the last time I made this game I used this size which is about that big for the uh, you know captains it's a good size and this size which is a bit smaller than these for the troops now these ones it's a little on a bit over 20 a bit over 20 so that's uh, three quarters of an inch and this one is Bit, yeah, this one's 45 and is one and a half inches about, okay? So, why are we doing this? That's because I'm thinking of not using these tokens for this one. What I would like is colored tokens like this, I mean, but in this kind of size, for each faction. So when the stickers go on them, they look a little, like, I mean, the stickers do a lot. You can see this is obviously red, this is obviously the thing, but still. I think it would be much nicer to have nice parts like this, okay? Okay, tries not to run away. Not so much this size, but coloured like this. So the actual pugs are coloured. So, how are we going to do this? So, what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into my computer and we'll see what we can see. Okay, so this is now inside the computer, so let's get started on how we're going to produce these little pugs. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to point you to a website called Print and Play Productions. This seems like a very good website. Now I look all over the internet, it's very very hard to find circular discs of wood for some reason. Uh, but this guy, he specializes in custom prototypes for board games and in fact if you just give him all the Dune files he will print you up an extremely good version for it. It'll cost you a bit, it's like $300 or something but he can do it. But he also sells individual parts which you can buy directly from him and there's everything that we need here. Now the ones that I showed you, the ones that I used in the old Dune were from these wooden pugs. The large one was the one and three quarter inch here and I think the small one was either the three quarter inch or the seven eighth inch. Might have been the seven eighth inch. That's what those look like. You've already seen what those look like. But what I really wanted to do is go for colored discs. Now there's a couple of things with colored discs. Well let's just keep talking about wooden discs for a moment. Basically, here's a nice little thread on the geek, and all the links will be in here, on how to make some wooden discs. And he uses a, a method that I'm not going to use for sticking the items on. But you can see he's found a place that sells really, really nice wooden tokens. And it is just woodworks.ltd. And this is that exact token he was using. This is a one inch tall one eighth inch thick disc and this site sells them in all sorts of shapes and what's good about these is that they've got nice rounded edges so that's another option instead of print and play and other woodworking sites like even your local lumber yard will have discs for sale because they just you know chop them with the saw you might have to sand them but you know they'll be there the thing is i wanted to have colored discs and that led me to looking at, there's this stuff called right dye, which is a, a dye that allows you to, it's, I think it's for clothing, but apparently it works pretty well on wood. It's like a powder and it's very cheap and you just mix it with water and then you just soak stuff in it. And here's some tests that the guy did on some relatively cheap wooden parts. These, these parts he's using are called uh, plugs and that's for you know you you know if you know anything about woodwork you use it to plug things but they're not very good quality wood because you're not meant to see them in the end product 
So there's some artifacts you can see, I don't know if you can see in the YouTube video, but if you go to the thread, you can see he talks about it. The longer you soak it in, the more it soaks in the parts and you get some striping on the, on the piece. But nicely sanded down wooden pieces like these that aren't as low a quality might not have that problem. Still, this seems like a really good way to go about it. Buy wooden discs and then print it because the wooden discs come in all shapes and sizes. That being said, the actual colored discs, the ones that look very much like the ones in your board games that you're using, like the ones I showed you at the beginning, come in very set sizes. So here we have a 15 millimeter disc with a four millimeter thickness. That's the same size as the one that I showed you from Dragon's Gold. And these wooden cylinders are 15 by 10, which is the same size as say the one from Andy and Abyss. Now, these are quite nice. They're a little bit small for my taste. I'd like them to be a little bit digger, bigger. But look, he sells a 19 millimeter and a 25 millimeter. So that's what we're going to be aiming for. We're going to be aiming for the 19 millimeter with four millimeter thickness for the units and a 25 millimeter with seven millimeter thickness for the uh, heroes. So now we need to work out how we're going to print out and then stick it to this. And there's basically a few different ways. And the way that I'm going to do it, well, the way that I, there's two ways that I have done it. And the first is to use something like uh, EK Tools' website. So here we have blah, blah, blah. A three quarter inch circle punch is about 12 millimeters, but 12.7 millimeters, which fits very nicely on a 15 millimeter disc, which is one of these ones. And I think it's down here. Uh, yeah, here it is. The three quarter inch punch is about 19 millimeters. So if we type in uh, three slash four inch two millimeters, it's about 19 millimeters, which fits quite snugly on a 25 millimeter disc. That gives us room so we don't have, because if, if the sticker goes right to the very edge, like if we've got a 25 millimeter sticker for a 25 millimeter circle, it's gonna be very hard to stick it on. Okay, so, and the half inch, just so you can see it, is 12.7, which can fit very nicely on a 15 millimeter. So we're not gonna use that one. So, you can buy these. Uh, you can buy these punches, and then you can print out on A4 adhesive paper. So it's just like an A4 page, except the whole thing is a gigantic sticker. And then you use the whole punch to just punch out the holes, and then pull the backing off, and then stick it on part. But this time, I'm going to try something slightly different using a website called EveryLabels.com.au, which is an Australian site. And uh, I thought this might be a fun way to try something new. Now, what's interesting about this is that this is a, a guy who, ha who he sells adhesive labels on an industrial scale, you know, and also wa warehousing and stuff. But he also has a website where he sells small packs for consumers. And why I would like to try them out is that he sells A4 synthetic labels. And these are, cut, these are labels that you could literally stick on a car and it will be on the car five years later, you know, five, ten years later or whatever. They're very, very durable. And I've had problems with PNP labels getting ugly or the unpeeling or whatever after a lot of use because you're touching them with your hands. So I thought I'd try these synthetic labels. Now he does sell the A4 labels that you could then use to punch out with the punches but he also sells quite a large variety of rounds. So we get the 15 millimeter one to go on the 19 millimeter troop token, and we have a 20 millimeter round to go on the 25 millimeter troop token. It's a pity he doesn't have like a 20, 22 millimeter one or anything. Still, that should be fine. Now, 
There is another website called labelplanet.co.uk which has a similar things. They actually have even some more interesting. They've got a 13 millimeter diameter sticker here, which allow, would allow you to stick them on those small 15 millimeter pugs you saw. And uh, otherwise they have a 19 millimeter, but they don't have it. Anyway, there's lots of places you can go. Still, uh, I've used Label Planet before and they're good. So, What's interesting about these is that you don't need a punch. You just print them out on your paper and unstick them and stick them on. And hopefully that's gonna be all we're gonna to need to do. Now there's two sets here uh, for the 20 millimeter. We're gonna use the 563. But let's have a look at the 465. Okay, loading. Okay, so this is what the sheet looks like, okay? And he's got all this interesting uh, you know, information on how to set up your templates. Let's have a look at the template information. And basically, this was news to me, so I'm going to try it his way, but he strongly recommends to not use a PDF. Apparently, PDFs have some kind of problem. I've never heard this before, but he's the label expert. So let's see. Let's do it his way, see how it works. And he gives some instructions on how in Microsoft Word and in Open Office or Libre Libre Office. I use I use that one, which is Open Office is a excellent program, but it's no longer in development. It sort of got stopped, but uh, this one here is still in full development. Anyway, so and it's open source, so you don't have to pay for it. Anyway, so he shows you how to make labels, and if I just load up the labels that I made. As you can see, they're nicely formatted and apparently these print perfectly in inverted commas. So we're gonna test this out and then we can just peel them off, stick them on and have very strong labels. So yeah, that's it. Uh, right, let's do it. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm creating a small file in Photoshop of the individual parts, which I'm then gonna save out into PNG files. And then after I create the, the label document, I will then insert those images into the document in the right places. And once I insert it, I just copy the amount of copies I need and everything should be fine. Now, I didn't really wanna use much scaling, but I did notice that these images are cut for larger pugs. I didn't want to scale them. So I actually just increased the DPI of the image source to 380, I think it was, which uh, got all of the, as much of the original image inside it as possible without changing the sizes for 15 millimeter. And then I do some adjustments and to, once I center it, it looks like it's a little off. So I center it and then I use a clone tool just to fix up the edges. I end up with a bunch of different stickers. I thought really seriously about making a unique image for the uh, Sadaka and for the Fadecore, Fade, Fade, what are they called? Fadekins, <laughs> whatever. The, uh, you know, the special units. But I ended up just going with the default ones because uh, well, they look fine with the star. I'm sure that's gonna be enough. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print them on slightly thicker. I remember if we look back at the website, there was uh, two thickness levels for 19 millimeter. So they'll be slightly thicker. Anyway, uh, right. So yeah, I just paste all these in and it's done. Now I'm not going to show you the whole process again with the uh, hero tokens because it's exactly the same but with the 20 millimeter sheet and well i mean that's it i'll uh see you when i'm ready to stick them on and uh, i guess i'll be in the next video so have fun and i'll see you guys next time we ourselves were seeing a slight problem with in-house atreides all all atreides The spice extends life. The spice expands consciousness. The planet is Arrakis, also known as Dune. I will have Arrakis back for myself! He who controls the spice 
controls the universe, Lord. The slow blade penetrates the shield. Run! Run! I must not fear. And fear is the mind killer. The first step in avoiding a trap is knowing of its existence. And he'll know, he'll know that it is I, and Vladimir Hartman, who encompasses his doom. <laughs> Tell me of your home world, Lucy. You are transparent. I see plans within plans. One will come. The voice from the outer world, ringing the holy war, the Shihad, which will cleanse the universe. My lord, I suspect an incredible secret has been kept on this planet, that the Fremen exist in vast numbers. Vast. And it is they who control Iraqis. I'll miss the sea.